Hello. In this video I want to address the issues we have experienced in our last video. You know, where we tried to measure we tried to measure the voltage here and so on and this did not really this did not really work. Yeah? And let it in because you should know there are issues on your way and you can solve them. Yeah? Because every everything which is done and looks smoothly and you have issues with afterwards, you may think, hey, what is it? I'm stupid or what? No, 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 no. That's how we learn, yeah? That's how we learn. We do mistakes. We make mistakes. And that's... In analog photography, we would say, we use the negatives to develop. Yeah? And that's true by le in learning also. Yeah? If something goes wrong, then we learn something. Okay, the issue is is with this with this like I already mentioned in the previous video is with this potentiometer with the with the legs of this potentiometer they are not really fitting into this breadboard. This breadboard, like I said, is contacted in these lines. It's all they are all contacted to each other. Yeah? How how does this look? Underneath these tiny holes. Yeah, there are the holes. Yeah, and underneath these holes, basically there are two two spring-loaded contact bars. Yeah, and you can pull a leg of something in between. Okay, if you pull something here, then it bends a little. It's springy those things and it grabs it tightly yeah, it grabs it tightly however now we pull in some big big leg yeah, which almost takes the entire hole yeah. then those springy little things are torn apart they will reverse of course yeah. they will reverse of course but then when we plug something in here yeah, this may not have contact. This may not have contact here. Yeah? And that's exactly the issue. Okay? That's exactly the issue. Uh, the issue is that we, when we plug in the potentiometer, it pulls, it pushes apart. It's not pulling, it's pushing apart the, the spring loaded contact bars and the other stuff, the small wire jumper wire, the small jumper wire, does not really get good contact. So sometimes you touch it and it works and then you let it loose and then it's it's loose and not, not there is no electrical contact anymore and it is not working anymore. So basically what we have is some loose contact here. Yeah? Or in German Wackelkontakt or in East Austrian a Vogler. Yeah? We've produced a loose contact here. How this is looking? Yeah, I will show you on another pretty cool feature. Yeah, this is our program. Yeah, and we don't only have the serial monitor. If I open the serial monitor, we do see the current current values like before. Yeah, I will now close the serial monitor, and I will open uh, the serial plotter. It's called. Huh? And when we open the serial plotter, it tries to analyze the values which it finds. And there you can see it draws a line. Yeah? And if I now touch and move this, this uh, potentiometer, you see how the value is, is decreasing yeah? or increasing. And here you can see if it's, ooh, you see, ooh, I just barely touch it and let it loose and something else is happening. So this is now this loose contact. So every time I grab it or I let it go, it might happen that this, these wires and so on, they are not firmly connected. If I grab it and hold it tight, then this is working pretty nice. Yeah, But of course, it's a little bit annoying if you let it loose 
and then something oh or just touch the, the board and something is happening then you're touching here oh something is going on ah touch the board maybe some some something happens and and it's a totally different thing Oof. Uh, here you see why yeah, 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 yeah. okay so how to get rid of this yeah how how to get rid of this yeah. basically what you can do yeah. if you look here we are in the neighbor in the neighbor holes yeah if you plug it in the same hole so that you share the hole with the leg of the potentiometer then it has to touch then you're not reliant relying on the on the contact rows also on the other side just push it in the same hole as the potentiometer takes a little bit ah, gentle force again okay and now now have a look on on our monitor now if i if i change if i change the value here i can this is much more stable yeah? much more stable okay you see now it's working because now now we have a firm contact between the legs of the potentiometer and our jumper wires that's that was the issue or well, that's that's the issue so it was a teachable moment yeah. however now you also know this great feature here of this uh serial zero writer yeah and if you do it in a correct uh syntax you see it's it's analyzing the data pretty well yeah and it, if you do it in a correct syntax it's working quite good the only thing you see what's happening here the only thing which is a little bit annoying is this auto auto scaling so if i now pull it to the left and then here the maximum value is 1023 yeah like we heard this here is the percent this is was going up to 100 percent and now if i move down maybe in steps and this maximum value yeah is leaving is leaving the the scale yeah this maximum value is leaving then suddenly book book it gets scaled up and up and up and up that's maybe a little bit annoying but you know it's working yeah oh and here oh that's nice here we see something yeah here we jump between two values yeah here we jump probably from 43 to 44 and you can clearly see there is no value in between that's our digital step width okay so that's that's here we can see our resolution if you see something like this it's clear it's either this value or the one above but something in between cannot happen digital typical digital behavior okay so to summarize what we can do we can read digital inputs we can write digital outputs we can read analog inputs we can write somehow analog outputs and that's all we need that's really all we need okay there's nothing more the rest from control point of view the rest is just software in which manner in which sequence we turn off and on some outputs okay so the basics are there and now the next videos will deal with some examples on what we can do 
Thanks so far for listening. Take care.